Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to plan healthy meals for the whole week. We get this question a lot, how to plan meals and avoid going and eating things that perhaps we shouldn't. So today we're talking all about meal planning and how you can use meal planning to get your diet under control and eating healthy all through the week. Mm. So to get started, we want to think about how often are you shopping in the week? This will probably come down to how close you are to your shops. So for me, it will be once a week because the shops are quite far away. It's a bit of a trek out. Mm. But for Beck, it's like the shop is just down the road. <laughs> yeah, so I plan to do two kind of main shops during the week, but also if you live in a very built up or like metropolitan area, you may even pop down every day to pick up fresh ingredients. So mm -hmm. it's really up to you and what works for your schedule, but I think you just have to be realistic about what that schedule is so that you can then plan accordingly. So once a week is completely fine, but you have to build your plan around that. Mm -hmm. And it's even better if you can go to a farmer's market as well. A lot of people make that their Sunday routine. So at the beginning of the week, you want to sit down and make some time for meal planning. So for me, that's a Sunday and I know a lot of people like to plan on Sundays as well. It's a good time, especially if you're doing meal prep for work. But you want to sit down and create some time to firstly actually look through your fridge and see if you can plan any meals that incorporate what you've already got in there. Because the worst thing is to be wasting food. Yeah. So I like to look and see if there's anything I need to urgently use up either on Sunday itself or on Monday. So then you want to go ahead and plan out your meals for the week, either in your weekly planner or on a calendar that you can see on your fridge. Or I actually personally like to use a whiteboard. Mm. I have like a little mini whiteboard on my wall in the kitchen. So that's where I write it up so that I can see it. My husband can see it. We're all clear what we're eating for the week. And then there'll be no disappointment because yeah. we all know what's coming up. <laughs> yeah. And if you're shopping midweek, it's also a really great idea to write down any of the fresh items that you'll need to pick up on that midweek shop. Yeah, so for me, I usually shop on a Sunday and then I'll pop back in on like a Wednesday or Thursday. So I'll just jot down what maybe fresh meats or if I want to get fresh vegetables. Like for example, broccoli is really good to eat as fresh as you can buy it. So I might decide I'll pick up some fresh broccoli on Thursday for that dinner. So I've got the whole week mapped out, even the midweek shop. Another really important point that we want to stress is that you don't have to make every meal, you know, an elaborate mm. dish. We like to keep things pretty simple. So a lot of the time we're just having roasted vegetables with a, a meat or a protein. You just mix around what carbs that you want to have, mm. whether you're going to have some sweet potato or white mm. potato. It's, I see a it's lot of just making time. up a balanced meal in terms of the macros. It's yeah. not making you know, an elaborate recipe from a recipe mm. book every day. And it's fine if you want to do that a few times a week. You can schedule those days in when you want to you know, try something new or if you want to go through a recipe book and pick out something unusual. Yeah, sometimes I'd like to flick through and just pick something for say like Saturday night. I'll make mm. something new or something that I've been wanting to try for a while. But for the most part, I keep the meals pretty simple. Yeah. And that and kind of gets rid of any stress and mm. wastage because when you're buying a lot of different herbs for a meal and then you use it for one meal and you yeah. can't keep, you know. That's another point. Like I like to plan meals where they have some common ingredients. Mm. So for example, the fish cakes that we showed on an earlier video, I like to, if I'm making them, I'll probably make curry later in the week because mm. I've bought chilies, I've bought coriander and potatoes. sometimes I even put potatoes into my curry. So it really makes good use of mm. everything that you buy and there's nothing better than getting like your full money's worth and not wasting anything just yeah. using things up as they're still fresh so our other point is that you can plan as many meals as you want but we try to stick to mainly dinners and lunches so we don't worry so much about planning breakfast because breakfast is a bit of a no-brainer we're eating pretty much the same thing every morning and you've probably seen it in all of our videos mm. it's going to be a smoothie or it's going to be eggs and avocado that sort of thing. So I kind of know to just buy a bunch mm -hmm. of eggs, make sure I always have avocados around. I always have berries and my protein and things like that. Yeah, sort of your staples the for the week. So breakfast is usually taken care of, mm -hmm. but I mean, if you have, you know, different members of your family like to eat different things for breakfast and you like to make sure that everything is in the fridge and ready, it's also worthwhile to mm -hmm. make your plan around that. So once your meals are all planned out for the week, you want to just write up your shopping list. 
So you just have a glance through all the meals that you've written up and figure out what ingredients you exactly need. So this really stops you from going to the shops and overbuying or underbuying because sometimes you cannot buy enough no, things. Yeah. And you end up getting hungry and then you just go for an easy option like takeaway or or just eating something that's mm. not very filling or very nutritious from the back of the cupboard. <laughs> so it pays to really know what it is that you want to eat and all the things that you're going to need. Okay, so we've got our meals all planned out and we've got our shopping list going. So our next tip is to, throughout the week, write down any items that you're running out of onto a list that you can put on the fridge or jot down in a notebook so that you know what you're going to buy and especially if there's a few unusual items mm, as well. Yeah. So sometimes there are things that you don't really foresee that you're running out of when you've mm. done your meal plan and you've planned your weekly shopping list. But they pop up during the week and it's good to mm. just jot those down so that when you're going shopping, you're picking up all the things that you need to mm. make the regular recipes that you do. So for example, I might plan to make curries and different things during the week, but mm. I'll realize throughout the week that I'm running a little bit low on chili spice or things like that. So it's also really handy to keep a list going and jot it down and it's just really simple and easy. So those were our tips on planning healthy meals for the whole week. So we hope these tips really help you to plan and eat healthy all week long and avoid that situation that we all have sometimes where you just reach into the cupboard and go, I'll just, I'll just eat this thing even or, though we know it's not that good. Or you go and order takeout. <laughs> yeah, which the other common completely situation. happens to me when I haven't planned meals. So we hope that these tips help. And if you have any tips about meal planning, we'd love to see them in the comments below. We can all give each other a hand. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.